Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Common YouTube channel and I am here with another race SEO video. So actually someone has asked me uh, about the validation to perform in race SEO. So the question was like suppose when we hit any API so we get some response right it might be JSON object or a JSON array. You can see at the right hand side it is JSON object and left hand side it is a JSON array. Okay, so the question was like, how can you verify the response is either the JSON object or JSON array? Okay, and also, uh, like suppose if, uh, like suppose here, what I do, if uh, I am adding another field called mobile, okay, and uh, it might be like I am ho if I am holding multiple mobile numbers, so I will give different different numbers, right? So second question was like if any particular key in the JSON is con consisting of any object. So how can you verify that mobile has an array okay, or it is holding a list of values. So two types of validation. How to verify the overall if it is a JSON object or JSON array. And second part how can you verify the data type or response type of a particular property. Okay, so these two concepts we are going to see in this video. So I will go to Eclipse and there is already one project created and in this project I am using uh, race SO dependency. So what I will do, I am not going to hit any API instead of that I will use my mock. I will mock the response. So I will go to mock key. Okay, and click on new mock. So let's start with JSON object first. Okay. And I will put it here and I will mark it. So what I want to going to verify when I hit this API, the response should be a JSON object. Okay. This is your requirement. So let me go here. Let me get a main method. So this assured. I have mocked the response, so I have the URL. I use the get method. Let me put the API here. Okay. So once we hit call the dot get method, we'll get the response, and I will use the then. Okay. Then we have one method called body. Okay. So here actually we need to put the assertion whether the response, whatever we are getting, that is JSON object or not. So that is very simple. So I want to get whole body complete body right means as this whole so either you can pass the dollar symbol or you can pass it as empty okay so it will give you the whole json uh, response okay then in this assessor by default we have one library included that is called hamcrest okay there is no need to down no need to add the dependency separately it will come along with your assessor only okay so here we have a class matchers coming from racer. So you can see, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, it's coming from Hamcrest and Hamcrest is included in the racer so itself. Okay. Matchers. Okay. And there we have one method called instance of. Okay. Instance of. In this, you need to pass whether uh, if it is JSON, if the response is JSON object, then I we know that we can represent that as a map. If the response type is an array, then we to represent it as list. Okay. So when what we need to do here, once get the body, okay, and match if this this particular result is an instance of map dot class. Okay. So let me import the map. Okay. So what was my requirement that this response, this API should give me a JSON object. Okay. And JSON object can be represented as a map. Okay. We have already seen in my previous videos. Okay. So what I am doing here, I am using the body method. Okay. Body method here, the first part into pass, like what means the data into pass. So what I did, I just pass the empty to double quotes. Okay. And it will give me the entire body means I will get this much. 
okay whole then i am asserting that okay check if this is the instance of map okay because i am expecting just an object so it should be an instance of map so let me run this program and we should see that it is passing okay so it passed right because there is no output so it's not printing anything so just to cross check whether it's really working or not what i'll do i'll put list dot class okay here this dot class okay from util so what i am saying that okay whatever response is coming that is an array okay but actually it is in json object or map okay so if if i run it so it should fail here it should complain okay you it's not a list type okay so here we can see okay json but doesn't match and you can see expected instance of list okay but this is a json object okay that's why, that's why it is failing now we'll go to the another part where we are getting the response as an array and let me mock this so let me mock this git and go click on new mock put the response here generate my code okay end point so let me change it to map so this assured dot get pass the uri then body okay means whatever body you are getting this should be a list okay if you want to check that the response should be a json array then you can use this way okay so let me copy this okay and paste it here and it will be this dot class okay so let me run this program now and we should see this should be passing so obviously uh, there is no any console log so it not printing anything let me change it to map just to show you how it is failing okay so it failed and you can see expected instance of map okay but it is an array okay so the first first code will be to verify response is a json object that is map and the second piece of code will be for to verify if the response is a json array okay that is list now coming to the third part so here if you want to check if the mobile is an array okay mobile is an array instead of verifying the whole body we have a requirement for particular field key okay so process is again same let you copy this code here okay and here instead of passing the double quotes okay empty double quotes we need to pass the json path okay means how can i travel here i need to use json path right so just pass copy the key okay and i have already covered my json path concept in detail in previous videos you can go and watch that okay so if i write only this one okay so this time this will return me only this much okay when i pass empty double quotes okay then it return me everything but this time i am passing a json path okay so it will give me this much okay so i am saying that okay this mobile should be a list okay to verify the response uh, verify part of response is a json array okay so let me run this program and we should see the proper result okay so anyway it will not print anything on console because we don't have any console link okay it got failed why because we didn't change this one okay so let me run now 
okay so obviously there will be no output okay we can see nothing printed so our tests are running okay so if you have any doubt or you if you have any specific thing to learn in this session please ping me i will try to create the videos like this okay thank you everyone